Well, good morning, warriors of God. Derek Lynn, we're praying for America and spending time with the word. Oh my God. Oh, glory to God. I am so glad that there is only one God, one Savior, Jesus Christ, my Lord, one Holy Ghost, the Ruha Kodesh, the breath of God blowing on us right now. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you for your loving kindness and tender mercies. We thank you, God, that this is a brand new day for a brand new miracle. This is a brand new day for a brand new vindication. This is a brand new day for a brand new vengeance. This is a brand new day for a brand new grace. This is a brand new day for a brand new mercy. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Because you are God and beside you, there, there, there is no other Father God. Beside you, God, there is no other. Beside you, God, there is no other. None can compare. Mm-mm. Hallelujah. Every other God created by the hands of man will come crumbling down. But the Lord God Almighty who sits on his throne, who said, let there be and there was, shall be God and God alone in Jesus name. Now, warriors of God, ooh, glory to God. Something is here in America. The shaking is here. The stirring is here. Oh, the turning over is here. The vindication is here. Mm-hmm. The joy of liberty, the grace of liberty, the favor of liberty, the, oh my God, in the name of Jesus, the provision of liberty, Lady Liberty, my God, who glory to God on today. She has taken her position and is getting ready, my God, to ensure this nation in Jesus' name by the power of the Holy Ghost that this nation begin to cry back unto God, come back to God, cry back unto God in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. And Lady Justice, Lady Justice is taking a throne. She's going to dethrone Jezebel, Shabbosota. She's going to cause, mm -hmm, thank you, Holy Ghost. I received that on this morning. She is going to cause the Delilahs of the land, my God, to be stripped of everything that they have stolen in Jesus' name. Now, Woo, glory to God. I feel that on this morning, praying for this country. The book of Second Chronicles, chapter number 20, verse number 15. Glory to God on today. He said, listen, King Jehoshaphat and all who live in Judah and Jerusalem. This is what the Lord says to you. And I say today, since this is praying for America, listen, America, listen, United States of America. This is what the Lord says to you, USA. What did he say? Do not be afraid. Oh my God, in Jesus name or discouraged. America, do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. And I say to we, the people, we will not be afraid and we will not be discouraged. What? Because of this vast army. We know that their army is great. It is vast. It is massive coming at us to take us down. But we will not be afraid in the mighty name of Jesus. What? For the battle is not yours. Mm -mm. The battle is not ours. We belong to God. This country was dedicated unto God. Any battle coming against this nation and we the people is God's battle. Give it to him. Let him fight it on today. But God's, come on somebody. It is God's battle. Amen. The battle is the Lord's. The battle belongs to him. In the mighty name of Jesus, even in our personal lives, things that are coming at us, things that are trying to take us down, all oh, vindictive individuals, my God, you see them, you can smell them from a distance. All the whoremongers, the lying tongues, the gossiping tongues, the accusatory tongues. Come on, Holy Ghost. Mm. Hallelujah. I shall begin to wag like a tongue of a dog in the mighty name of Jesus. Why? Because the battle is not ours. That my shukurisi. And what we're going to do is we're going to come behind. We're going to come right behind the Lord God Almighty. We're going to come right behind the Lord Jesus Christ. We're going to come right behind the Holy Ghost. Why? Because when the enemy comes in like a pent up flood, he will be met with God. He will be met with Jesus. He will be met with the Holy Ghost. He will be met with the warring angels. And he cannot touch us. Why? Because we are hidden in Christ. Mm -hmm. The Lord has put us in the cleft of the rock. He hides us under the shadow of his wings. Glory to God. Mm -mm -mm. 
and he covers us with his feathers. So whatever is coming at us, whatever is coming at you, whatever is coming at me, whatever is coming against our state, whatever is coming against the states across this nation, whatever is coming against this nation to take it down, to destroy, to bring it in confusion and duration, it will be the enemy that will be in confusion and duration because there shall be a sudden confusion, disgrace, and dishonor coming to those who have it out in their hearts, purpose in their hearts to destroy this nation. Now, I feel the fire of the Holy Ghost. Mm -mm. Woo, like I've never fell and fall afresh before. In the mighty name of Jesus, America is going, it's not going down. America is going nowhere. America is going up, 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 because we serve a God who takes us higher from faith to faith, glory to glory in Jesus name. Now, Father, we bless your name. We know that the battle belongs to you. And if we've ever tried to fight the battle in the past, God forgive us for even trying to put our hands anywhere in the midst of fight any battle. The battle is yours, God. You said, oh God, in your word, as you told your servant, stand ye still. For you shall see the salvation of the Lord today. The enemies you see today, you will see no more. Because the battle is not yours. They're coming against you. Don't try to fight them. You, my God, come behind and let the Lord hide you in the cliff of the rock. Let him hide you under the shadow of his wings. Mm -hmm. Let him cover you with his feathers on today and stay in that secret place. Mm -hmm. Because when they come in like a pento, my shakoto robobosa, oh my God, like a pento flood, it is the spirit of the Lord who's going to raise up that standard. Oh, we need not fight in this battle. Don't break a fingernail trying to fight in any battle. Just give it to God on today. Give God something to work with. Amen. Mm. And so, Father, we thank you. We release every battle to you. As we know, they are already yours, and we will stand still and be still and know that you are God because America's enemies, <laughs> the enemies that this nation see today, oh, my God, this nation will see these enemies no more because it will be the Lord's doing, and it shall be marvelous in our eyes. In the mighty name of Jesus, we're going out blessed, we're coming in blessed. We are going out anointed, we are coming in anointed. We are going out full of grace, we're coming in full of grace. We are going out full of favor, we're coming back in full of favor. We are going out protected, we are coming back in protected. We are going out preserved, we're coming back in preserved. Why? <laughs> because of the blood of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, and today, I plead the blood. The Lord be with you and also with me. The Lord bless you and may be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole arm of God because if we ever needed him, we need him now because the fear of the Lord shall come upon this land and all will see and know and give him the glory, honor, and praise until the next time. Shalom.